I did spend three dollars on a label that goes in a closet. <laughs> channel. My name is Monica. I'm going to be an eighth year special education teacher in Wisconsin. I've only taught special education, um, but I've been all around all the grades, uh, K through five at least. And then when I student taught, I had some sixth graders too. But for the most part, K through five. I have been battling with a cold like an entire week now, so my voice sounds a little strange. That's why. So the other day I was watching a video on YouTube from Miss Calls Campers and she was doing uh, everything she's bought um, this past school year for Amazon. And that's the kind of videos that I just love watching, but I personally don't buy enough things like exclusively from like just one store like Amazon to do that kind of video. I'm more of a random pop into Walmart, Target and get what I need sort of thing and not like, oh, two weeks in advance, let me just get these butterfly tattoos. I just don't plan like that. But because I watched that video, I've been wanting to do to do a video that an idea has been knocking around in my head for a long time. Um, in the past, I bought a lot of stuff off of Teachers Pay Teachers, and I've gotten much better at not spending my money there. But I'm a little scared to say that I have 900 purchases on Teachers Pay Teachers. Now, granted, I think 400 some are paid ones, but still, that's a lot of my own money that I'm spending on the internet that I might not never use again after I originally downloaded it. So today's video is every single thing I bought off of Teachers Paid Teachers um, this past school year. And if you enjoy this video at the end, if you want to comment uh, 2023 down below, um, I'll go ahead and I'll keep making these until I get all the way back to student teaching. Uh, basically, I'm going to talk to you about the things that I've bought, whether I used it or not, if I really liked it, if I would buy it again. And maybe eventually I'll have like my top 10 favorite purchases figured out. But uh, for now, we have 900 things to go through. We are going to start um, way back in August. That way I can just go towards the beginning. Okay, so starting at the beginning of August, this time last year I was in my classroom deciding that I was going to change out my bins that I have in my supply closet. Um, and I decided to go with this polka dot rainbow. I, it's meant for table signs above indicate a group. Um, is it ridiculous that I spent three dollars on a label? Absolutely. But did I really love the colors? Yes. Would I make this purchase again? I'm just not very good at um, using like Procreate or anything like that. The iPad I use is from like 2015, so we're talking ancient Procreate, Apple Pencils weren't a thing back then. And I think maybe if I eventually would, you know, upgrade my iPad, I would get into more of these fun things that I could do myself. Like this rainbow, I'm sure is an easy swoop on Procreate with an Apple Pencil. I did spend $3 on a label that goes in a closet. Next up, I'm still in my little polka dot era. I got a little freebie for a binder cover and a spine. And truthfully, the cover itself is easy enough. Um, it's the spine that I needed. I think I was looking for like a half inch binder spine and it's just so much easier to find like a pre-made one and, and make it your own. So free, totally worth it. Next one. Um, I had gotten first aid jitters from my Amazon wish list sometime that summer and I wanted to use it. It's not a first aid book that I've used before. So I bought the first day jitters book activities for $4.75. Um, did I like it? Yes. Will I use it again? Yes. If I was really motivated, could I have made it myself? Yes. But you know, in like two more years, I'll probably pull it out and I'll do it again because I won't have those same kids. Um, then I got this Meet the Teacher letter. Um, mostly I wanted to have something that had my Amazon wish list easily uh, QR scannable and just not another handout I was sending home or something that was sitting on the table for Meet the Teacher. So $3 on this Meet the Teacher template. I will do the same thing again this year and I will just change things around. $3 is a lot, but I'll use it every year unless I decide to change my theme, but I don't ever see that coming because I very much enjoy the donation print and the varsity letter. I mean, it's very much my style, just the cute, like, cute rainbowness is my style. 
this was definitely something that I must have watched recently with Miss Calls Campers. Uh, she really likes the book Alma and the Worry Stone. And then she also has the kids make their own worry stones. I don't think I ever did anything with it. I discovered a student was eating uh, clay and Play-Doh. Um, so I purchased it and never used it. Will I use it this year? Maybe. Two dollars? And I have the book too, so it's not even a matter of not having the book. I just didn't do it. So yeah, not yet opened. Oops, maybe this year. Um, Rachel Burnett's Pastel Pop Decor Bundle Binder Covers. Um, I've been using these everywhere. So this is my labels I have above my sink area. And then I printed four to a page to make a little label that fits in the Target pocket holders for my book bins. Um, so I paid four dollars and oh my gosh totally worth it I've been using it everywhere and will continue to use it everywhere so many options um then we got some fonts from Kimberly Gayswine Gayswine um KG fonts that's what everybody uh refers to them as and all the fonts are free um so I think that I must have used this probably on my silhouette cameo or I was making a sign or something because it was the end of August, so I was definitely doing something with the bulletin board. And then I also got this one because I think I was trying to make place value worksheets easier and not have to like copy and paste the single blocks. Instead, you know, you just use it as like a font. And then an edible data collection sheet. This was a $3 purchase and I was looking for something solely on letter recognition. So while it says that I only last opened it, um, the end of August, I have hard copies of this that I just printed off 12 of them. So I will use this again this year. Um, is it something that I definitely could have made myself on spreadsheet or PowerPoint? Uh, yes, but it was $3. One more thing to help me stay organized and help with um, tracking data on students. Next, I got this data tracker sheets that you can use sticky notes on. Um, did I end up using it? No, not for its intended purpose. Um, I spent $4 on this and I didn't ever end up using sticky notes. Um, I ended up just writing into the paper itself. And again, it shows that I only opened it at the end of August, but I have a lot of things and teachers pay teachers and I'm well aware of that. So I know that if I print the hard copy, um, I can shovel around the hard copy on the pile that is my desk and I know it's there. So um, this is something, again, I'll go ahead and I'll print at the beginning of this year, uh, hard copy, and then I won't have to print anymore until next year unless someone, you know, spills their milk or something all over my desk, which, you know, has happened in the past. This one I spent $8.50 on, um, and I don't think I ever ended up using this one because we have been using a lot of fast bridge monitoring, so I don't know why I ended up buying this unless there was a specific behavior or something that I was looking for, but $8.50 on something that I uh, don't think I ever used. Oops, guess we'll have to take a look at it again this year. Okay, I also ended up using our class as a family um, as a beginning of the year social emotional like welcome back to school book. Um, my current students that are more like on the self-contained track, we need a lot of fine motor practice and we really love crafts. So all of that makes for great fun things in the classroom. I spent $4 on this Our Classes Family Bulletin Board idea, Craftivity. I won't use it again this year because it'd be too soon to repeat it, but I would use it again in a couple years. Uh, next up, there's a fine motor craft activity. So they have different school supplies and it was a freebie. I really like doing tear crafts, uh, really fun. And then I must have been doing something with a kissing hand. I don't remember making this, but since I opened it up the first week of September, I'm only going to assume that I must have used it and it was free. So that's great. Um, also, I bought this friendship salad writing activity. Now I know that I had a meeting this day and I needed something for my social skills group to work on. Our, our social skills curriculum is called Everyday Speech, which is kind of funny because it's not really about speech. Um, there's just different scenarios and videos and all sorts of fun games that you can do to help your students with their emotional regulation and, and just improving their social skills. But having a computer platform to teach from is hard for when you have a sub. I don't remember if it was the beginning of the day or the end of the day, but it was a half day. And I just needed something for that group to work on. $3.99 on. And then, wow, it's Halloween time. We've got a Halloween ghost craft. I spent 
$3.50. Again, is this something I could have made myself? Absolutely. You know, maybe in 10 more years I'll be making my own stuff. Uh, then we have these number rack practice pages. I must have been having a student that was struggling with understanding uh, their number racks or their reckon racks. We use them a lot in Bridges Math, which is our main gen ed math curriculum. I spent $3 on six practice pages. Will I use it again? Yeah, we use number racks in the main curriculum all the time. I'm sure that's something that I'll use um, in the future. Then I got these October no prep packets uh, for preschool. I spent $7 on it, but I was definitely using this for a uh, first and a second grader. I really like these, but you have to remember that sometimes the stuff is too easy and sometimes the stuff is too hard. It just depends on the individual skill level of the students that you're working with. Then we have this build a pumpkin crap. I'm gonna assume that I probably put this on a bulletin board because I don't know what else I would've been doing with this and it was free, so hey, there's that. Then I purchased some Halloween freebie phonics worksheets, K through one, CVC focus. Um, and then another one, the Halloween free mini unit for Made For Me Literacy, which I've spent a lot of money on Made For Me Literacy, but they do have little free units here and there that you can try out if you're interested in trying it for free before you spend the money on it. But, um, you know, if I had to rate, like, my top 10 TPT products made for me, literacy would definitely be on there. Um, next, I last opened this October 30th, so I'm going to assume I was using this Halloween time, cause and effect freebie, the teeny tiny ghost. I probably had a student that was struggling with cause and effect. It was a freebie. And we have Halloween Critters, CVC Reading Passages. Um, I do remember... Uh, looking for, you know, kind of spookyish stories that I could read with a couple of my students in place of what we normally read, and I didn't have anything that was quite uh, at their level. So I spent $4 on it. Is it something I'll use again? Yes. Halloween hat crafts. My students love crowns. I love crowns, and my parents love crowns. Next, some Veterans Day coloring pages for preschool and kindergarten. I spent... Oh, it was free. Excellent. Everybody loves free things. Uh, American Symbols freebie. Um, this has like the Statue of Liberty in it and you know the Liberty Bell, just different symbols. I believe this also coincided with the Unique Learning Systems unit on like just American landmarks in general. Had a big bald eagle across the main book and everything so that just tied in with that as well. And then um, a Veterans Day clip art for Poppy Remembrance. That was a freebie. Uh, we did this. It was really fun, but some of them got a little crazy with the paint and it like totally saturated it and we had a giant mess, but it was fun. And then also a Veterans Day alphabet and counting activity. So a freebie. I believe I wasn't after the literacy or math centers in particular, but I wanted the pictures so that I could use it for my sensory bin. Assuming I was probably after the months of the year or the days of the week because I have lots of the alphabet and number pages already through the unique learning system. That was free. And then we have 100 chart missing numbers counting to 100. Uh, I must have had a kid that was struggling to count and write their numbers to 100. It was free, so that's good. And then we had past and present, then and now social studies at second grade center. I'm assuming this tied into the unique learning system and that I was looking for something to determine, um, you know, is a horse the past or the present? Is a car a past or a present? And it was free! Hooray! We love free. Um, here we have some task cards, multiplication and division story problems. It was free! And then we have some November morning work. So kindergarten morning work practice. It was free. Letters and numbers. And then CVCE Magic E Fall Worksheet Sample. So sample means it was free. Fall craft, pumpkin craft, fine motor activities, autumn, kindergarten, pre-k, sped. 
I wish I could be better at making my own crafts, but I would just much rather print and do, so that was free at least. Uh, Thanksgiving table talk craftivity. I thought it would be really fun to have the kids uh, string their own Thanksgiving themed corn. It was free, and I don't know if I'll ever do it again, at least with the students that I currently have, because, whew, you know, putting beads on a pipe cleaner. I didn't know it could be that painful. Maybe in like five more years. Then we have some Thanksgiving food vocabulary. I'm pretty sure that was after these for my sensory bin. They were free. Fall corn craft. I really liked this one. I was hoping the kids would color each individual little square with a Q-tip. Um, and some of them, you know, just smeared it all over the place. But hey, it turned out good. And I remember that our bulletin board looked really fun. And it was free. Hooray. Then we have the 50th day of school activity, 14 pages of fantastic resources, and guess what? It was free! Did I use everything in it? No. I'm very picky and choosy at what I use. I don't use, you know, all 14 pages, maybe just a couple here or there. And then we have balloons over Broadway, so we were doing that because uh, the News to You article for that week was talking about the Thanksgiving Macy's Day Parade, so I was just doing a little extension activity based off that as well. Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, compare and contrast. We were still uh, struggling with that skill, I guess. And that was also free. Um, balloons of a Broadway Phonics Emergent Reader, set where it's printable. Looks like a freebie. Is it a freebie? Oh no, I spent $4 on that. Well, I guess the good thing is that um, Balloons over Broadway is a pretty popular thing for teachers to do, so I can use it again. And there's 44 pages of this, and from the ones they're showing from the preview, I don't recognize them at all. I'm sure I used it, but maybe not to the extent for that cost. Thanksgiving CVC bingo. My kids love bingo. Do we shout bingo all the time even when we don't have bingo? Yes, but hey, it was free! Grade 4 Social Studies Printables for students with autism and special needs, so uh, we are working again on social studies landmarks and different things that they were doing in their social studies classroom and kind of just bringing it down to their level. I spent $4 on that. Totally worth it. U.S. Holidays Social Studies Unit for Kids with Autism. I spent $4.75, so it says the list price is $9.75, so who knows if I spent that or if it was a deal. Um, sorting 2D and 3D shapes boom cards. Uh, 2D and 3D shapes are something that we do probably every other week of the unique learning system and it's still kind of hard for kids to picture you know like a box is a 3D shape and uh, a piece of paper is a 2D shape um, and boom cards are a fun way to practice that and I also took a couple of these pages and I printed them out and I put them on a file folder uh, so people that ask me you know what is in all my file folders a lot of the times it's boom cards that the kids really like and then you can take and print those boom cards to make them into a file folder activity too and then we have arctic animals measurement so probably something to do with news to you in arctic animals or somebody was struggling with measurement uh, that was a freebie, super cute. Then we've got measuring length. So the rectangle A is blank units long. This would be because I have students that when they get their ruler, they don't put it right at zero or the end of the item. They just kind of start measuring willy-nilly. That was a freebie. Uh, again, more measurement, non-standard measurement worksheet, first grade worksheet for freebie. Measurement worksheets free. Canada and U.S. flag hearts. Um, I'm going to assume. I'm going to assume that I was after the United States one, unless we were talking about Canada. That was a freebie. And then we've got Statue of Liberty and American symbols and labeling. So labeling probably like the torch and the crown of the Statue of Liberty. That was list price three dollars and fifty cents. Uh, free gingerbread house name craft. Uh, Chelsea Sped is one of my favorite people to order from. Uh, she teaches in a self-contained uh, preschool room, so a lot of her crafts are right up my level for some of my kids, and that was a freebie. Super cute. Uh, she also has a little reindeer handprint craft that I must have done. And then we've got a little elf craft. Free. Yay. Pretty sure all those were on the bulletin board. Then I spent money on a song. 
a freebie at least. Skip counting by two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think I used it after I looked at the songs and realized that they weren't songs that the kids would recognize. And then we've got more on Arctic animals. We don't use uh, Reading Street's curriculum, so I'm assuming I was after something to do with Arctic animals, and it was a freebie, so great. Antarctic Geography Flipbook. We definitely had Antarctica as a news to you um, article, so that was free. We got one page left. Um, again, I've been teaching for going on eight years now, so I've kind of collected a lot of good things that I don't have to be like panicking in, in need of resources. And I have a lot of curriculum at school too. Um, this, a dollar deal, Gingerbread Man printables. Uh, December, you know, key to the moment, gotta get some crafts. I have a student that's obsessed with the little old lady book, so I bought this Winter Snow book buddy. Um, the only thing with this one is there's a pipe in the story, like, oh yeah, a pipe. It always brings up, you know, that the grandpa or the grandma smokes a pipe. And that one was $2.75. I laminated these, so every time I want to read this old lady book, I already have the pieces ready. I have one of those brown paper grocery bags. Um, with like the old lady's head on it so the kids can feed the old lady the picture so like when she swallows the coal for the eyes they can put the coal in the old lady's mouth. Then we've got New Year's 2024, a little mystery picture, have to follow the directions so that you color them right. That was a freebie. Uh, New Year headband crown. Again, we like crowns. That was free. Um, New Year's 2024 number sense activities to subitize. So quick flash of 10 frame. How many stars are on there? That was free. Um, and then engaging early learners had a little coloring page, um, a tear craft to be precise for my kids. So that was free. Uh, a New Year's resolutions and goals mobile. I think I did this with my social skills group and that was free. A Valentine's Day bulletin board. We had a PD day and my parents didn't know what to do for a bulletin board so I just went looking for a freebie and it turned out really cute and again it was free. And then we did this, The Love is Among Us for the door and that was free. And then a February no prep packet. I'm going to assume I probably used a couple of these in class but I also have students that like to do extra work at home and like play school so $6.75. Reuse it again. Uh, feed the heart die graph. So this was in a center. So they've got a little candy, a little piece of paper that has a candy on it that says chick and they have to, you know, feed the heart the die graph after they've said the correct word. And then, oh, look, some file folders. Teach Love Autism has a lot of them. And so definitely all of these are in my file folders that I've made. So what I do is I print the stuff in color, cut out the outside, use it one piece of double-sided tape onto the file folder and then I'll just uh, make sure that the pieces that go on top of the file folder don't get lost somewhere. And then we have some alphabet dot to dot and missing alphabet letters worksheets. Um, I had some students that we were working on and news to you, um, the alphabet is around a picture and they're supposed to follow A, B, C, D to complete the picture, like follow the dot to dots with letters instead of numbers. And we just were not understanding it. We needed more practice. So I found those and it looks like they were free. Excellent. Um, Dab and Trace alphabet worksheets. We really like anything to do with dabbers and that was free. So yay. Um, again, more dot to dots. Winter snowman dot to dot alphabet for re. Free letter A dot to dot alphabet center or activity printable. Free, free, free. We love it. Dot to dot skip counting by alphabet. And oh look, that was free too. Now we've got free cute monsters alphabet dot to dot. And then sight word reader, she saw little witch do. The book is about on the farm and I'm pretty sure I got it just because we were struggling with the word saw, which is apparently not used in a lot of regular old CVC readers, I guess. So this is by Second Grade Smiles, but I used this with a fourth grader who was just struggling with uh, names of shapes. So I actually have this in the worksheet form. And then I went ahead and made file folders of them as well. So I paid $3 for that. Definitely something I'll use again with students that struggle with that same skill. 
Um, and then here's the more like geometry focused version of it. Uh, so again, I printed out the worksheets for him to work on first, and then once we'd done the worksheets all through once, then we would do the file folder activity so we could just quickly practice at the end of our, you know, like intervention session and we're not wasting time gluing and cutting. So 350 for that. Valentine's Day, color by number freebie, a free cutting practice with scissors. Uh, I think this is probably for Groundhog's Day, I'm gonna guess. Because that looks like a groundhog. Telling time to the hour and the half hour worksheets for Valentine's Day. How much did I spend? We've got our St. Patrick's Day letter freebie. So just like the heart ones that I did for Valentine's Day, you cut out the leprechaun head, you put it on the little trash can that you can get at the Dollar Tree, um, and you can feed the little coins or the words to the leprechaun. Then we've got some St. Patrick's Day number tracing cards, a little freebie. I'm sure this was probably in a sensory bin. Um, leap year. This was a leap year, and that's not something that we've ever talked about or celebrated, so I needed to get some new materials for that. I spent... Oh, good. And that was also a freebie. And then this leap day was free. Hooray. And then we've got spring break packet freebie. Hooray. Winter no prep math for second grade. Probably sent that home or spring break for some practice for some kids, and it was free. Hooray! Free morning work for first grade. Probably sent that home for kids to work on. Um, KG primary dots lined. I love a good font. And then it looks like I got the seasons and weather from Make From You Literacy Level C. We were working on the seasons and the weather in Unique Learning System, so that went along well. So I use Reading Mastery, but they also have a language portion, but I only have the kindergarten first grade level of that. Um, and in that, they talk about pointing to directions, and I didn't have any direction signs in my classroom, so I needed to print out these cardinal direction signs in a rainbow. Um, and they were free, thank goodness, because I'd be really disappointed in myself if I didn't make that myself, because it literally is just a picture of rainbow with black words on top. Woo! Then we've got Solar Eclipse Activities for Rebe, hooray, Solar Eclipse Adapted Book. Um, I did end up laminating this, and I have the Velcro pieces in case another solar eclipse comes along. I paid $4 for that. Solar Eclipse Day was a really fun day. And then I have Solar Eclipse Craft, three no prep crafts for the Solar Eclipse 2024. And that was a freebie. Spring Math Print and Go for kindergarten and first grade. That was a preview, so that was free. And then errorless counting one through five freebie. So this is again something that I printed off the worksheet so that I could work on the student with it uh, first. And then once we've done them, I've already gotten them made into file folders so that we can then practice our errorless learning um, with a file folder and we're not having to spend time cutting and gluing to practice those tasks over and over and over. Um, because some of my students really like to waste time when they're using their scissors and their glue stick and sometimes it's just a lot more efficient to get out your Velcro activities and get it done. And then we've got our Made For Me Literacy Level A, our labels. And so I just had to re-download this, it's free, to get the label for the We Are All Unique, which is something I'm going to do at the beginning of the year. And, you know, that's it. That's three pages. I'm actually quite surprised at myself that there wasn't a lot more money spent. But again, you know, I've been doing this for eight years now. I don't have to spend a lot of money because I already have a lot of stuff. Like 900 things in my TPT account. There's a lot of material on there, plus all the material that's sitting in my classroom. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a little comment down below with 2023 and I will, you know, someday go back and I'll do the year previous to this too. Um, but in the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next one.